Clutch Baby Productions. She'd been my best friend ever since we were nine. I'd stare at her face and her hair, wishing she was mine. She didn't like me like that, and that was fine. Because I was with her all the time. She'd ask for class notes from the day before, then kiss my cheek, but I wanted something more. I was trying to tell her, straight from my core, that I loved her, but I was just too shy, and I don't know why. She was a dancer, and one who was graceful and pretty. Her dream was to dance at Lincoln Center in the city. Dedicated and hardworking, she wanted to succeed. While I'd just sit around writing things that nobody would ever read. The inlet at the shore was a favorite place to spend time together until the days came to end. I wanted to tell her there that she was more than just a friend. That I loved her. But I was just too shy again. So then it's late at night when my phone begins to ring. She'd call me and cry. She would tell me everything. She was down and feeling unadmired. But in a selfish way, I felt inspired. Because when things went wrong, it was me she desired. I should have said the words, but I was just too shy and tired. And then there were the times I performed for her, but she never seemed impressed. But how can one expect her to? She had more talent than anyone else possessed. Flawless in her dancing. Flawless in the way she dressed. Flawless in her schoolwork. And I was so obsessed. A day passed. A month. And then a year. A diploma. A future. Then a career. The plan was to tell her and keep her near, but I was late on the draw, and soon she disappeared. You may kiss the bride. Every chance had escaped, all the times I held dear, talks in her backyard, laughing until tears. I wanted to tell her I loved her, despite my fear but I was too shy to keep her here. Though the distance kept us apart in a way, our friendship continued to serve as a mainstay. Her husband was successful, white collared by day. I remained the struggling writer with too much to say. So many years later, I've grown old and somewhat bitter. For I was a wasted soul, a lie, a quitter. And then one day, my phone rang. It was her husband on the line. The girl I'd loved for 60 years was gone at 69. 
now paying respects to the girl I'd loved eternal. With feelings unshared and kept internal. Until her husband offered me her high school journal. He's been my best friend ever since we were nine. I stare at him every day, wishing he was mine. I want to tell him, but I can't put our friendship on the line. I can only hope that he can read my signs. I see him staring back at me sometimes, but then he always looks away. I can't decide if he loves me back or just wants things to stay. I know that if he truly feels it, he will find it in himself to say that I am more than just a friend to him. But I can't keep waiting every day. He just seems too shy. Too shy, and I don't know why. Show.